When the Panama Canal was widened last year, it opened up opportunities for trade to accelerate between East Asia and the East Coast of the United States. The canal locks can now handle much bigger container ships, making the route cheaper than before. But an obstacle prevented the trade from flourishing between Asia and the port of New York and New Jersey, the third largest in the U.S. It was the Bayonne Bridge, which spans a narrow strait that leads to the port's main container terminals. The bridge was built in 1931. At 151 feet in elevation, its roadway was too low to let the new container ships through. As work on the Panama Canal advanced, the Port Authority began a $1.6 billion project to raise the roadway. They accomplished the lift in June. In early September, a ship 185 feet tall passed easily under the bridge, having traveled from Shanghai through the canal. Behind me is the largest ship ever to visit a U.S. East Coast port. The Theodore Roosevelt, as it's known, is more than a third of a kilometer long, and it's pretty darn tall, too. Until recently, it couldn't have passed under the bridge at all, and that was a major bottleneck for international shipping. Increasing the height of the bridge is a defensive move by New York and New Jersey, ensuring it doesn't lose larger vessels to competing ports such as Norfolk, Virginia, further south down the coast. Mark Bourdon, president of CMA CGM's America Division, said larger ships have economies of scale and are more energy efficient, and the old bridge design was keeping them out of the New York market. The Port of New York is a key port on the East Coast. It is the largest port on the East Coast. It concentrates about 36% of the uh, Far East East Coast uh, uh, trade, and uh, as a result, is a cornerstone of any uh, vessel deployment. So not having uh, this bridge uh, raised is an impediment to actually uh, uh, creating uh, services based on uh, such assets. Port officials have high hopes that by raising the bridge, they can retain ship traffic that might otherwise go to other ports and reduce the cost of transporting goods into the largest metropolitan area of the U.S. A study by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers indicated that the improvement would save as much as $170 million in annual transport costs from the use of larger, more efficient vessels. The Bayonne Bridge largely serves regional traffic, but the effects of raising it are global. These are exciting times for us. Uh, the ship in particular just went through two weeks ago through the Panama Canal. It's, it is the largest ship that has gone through the Panama Canal ever, uh, especially now since we opened up uh, the expansion. So uh, for us, after a year of uh, operation of the expansion, uh, it was a, a, an accomplishment to get this very large vessel through. We didn't expect uh, to have these size vessels come through till maybe next year. Uh, but this is a few months ahead of, uh, of the time. Service to the East Coast by these mega ships could also tilt the landscape of commerce inside North America. Right now, importers of Asian goods generally use ports on the West Coast unless they are within several hundred miles of East Coast ports. The widening of the canal and the higher Bayonne Bridge could alter that equation. By the year 2020, as much as 10% of East Asia origin container imports could shift to the East Coast from the West Coast. Gregory Meyer, Financial Times, Elizabeth, New Jersey.